Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Sneaker Shopping. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Soul Stage with actor, filmmaker, the legendary Johnny Knoxville. Hello. Going to do some sneaker shopping today. Going to see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Yes. Looking forward. Let's go. Okay. Johnny, we always start growing up. What kind of sneakers were you wearing, Tennessee, as a young kid? I loved uh, Adidas. Okay. Adidas top 10 were one of the favorite shoes of my childhood. I also loved the Adidas Forum. Okay. And you wore the Adidas top 10 recently, like even on Fallon, because I saw Reddit's like, Johnny Knoxville wears the Adidas top 10. So you brought them back from your childhood. Yeah, I have like Converse. Yep and Adidas top 10. Okay. And I don't think I have anything else. And I heard that like your style, once you find something, you really stick with it. Does that kind of translate to the sneakers? Yeah, like everything. Like I have two yeah. pairs of pants, a yeah. black pair, a blue pair, a few flannels. Yeah. I have different t-shirts, but my shoes are... The con, you're famous for the con. I have two pairs of shoes. You know, you stick with Converse, but as a young, <laughs> as a young ball player. Yeah, I had some Chucks on there Chuck too. Chuck Taylors for the function. Check though. out that belly I was rocking. But you look pretty athletic here. The Chuck my, Taylors. My knock knees. That looks athletic. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you look fit for yeah. a young kid. But Chuck Taylors, even from like your early basketball career. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I wore these for so long. I tried on some like shoes to exercise in and yeah. I thought something was wrong with them. I'm like, something's poking in my foot, man. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. And it was the insole. I didn't know shoes had, in I forgot they had insole right. because this is nothing, it's just flat. Yeah, we, we think about basketball back in the days, this is what they used to play in, which is kind terrible. of- Terrible, like, it's terrible shoes these to play are basketball Yeah, in. these are like all LeBrons and, and look at the functionality of, yeah. of these compared to, you know, Chuck oh. Taylors. Your feet get all ripped up, it, yeah. Johnny, we talked about your love of the Chuck Taylors. Yeah. They've evolved over the years, but you kind of answered it. Like, do you have five pairs or 10 pairs of Chucks and you cycle through? Or like what we've seen you in Red Chucks, these are the pair. I've been wearing these for the past probably three years. Okay. These are old. Okay. I wore these in Jackass Forever. Wow. And you still see some paint and stuff on there, so. These are about to get retired, I think, because, you know, yeah. it's been a while. And you're here at a sneaker store, you get, maybe you pick up a new pair, yeah. but do you do stunts in them? How are they for functionality? I did every, I mean, I wore these and the Sean Cliver Nike Dunks okay. in Jackass Forever. So okay. I did everything. The, I, they got smoked by, I went to the hospital in these after wow. the bull. I got hit by the, you know, yeah. everything in the, in the chucks. 2006, really special pair. I think in 2015, you wore these a bunch, but 2015. Oh yeah, we had our own shoe, the 20, Jackass. 2015, uh, you threw out the first pitch, Los Angeles Dodgers wearing them. Oh, wow, well, I did not know that. Yeah, so, wow. yeah. Do you still have these pairs super no, exclusive? I, no, I don't. Uh, I would like to. Do you remember how they came about? Yeah, we met with Converse, because we reached out to them. Yeah. And said we'd like to do a shoe, and, and they said, all right. And we did a bunch of, I, I, I had a bunch of these design the uh, different hats for the Jackass logo. Yeah, the interior, yeah. The, the inside of the sneaker. Hey, but T Tyler Your boy. the Creator did these. He's yes. in Jackass forever. So talk, Love Tyler the Creator. Talk, what's it like working with him and Jasper? So, Tyler the Creator's amazing. He come on the set ready to shoot, yeah. you know? Jasper's great. Like, he's unshakable. Mm -hmm. He just goes along with whatever, and you can, a crazy situation will be happening. He's kind of, yeah, you know. Another trend I want to talk about is like they're coming distressed. Sneakers are coming dirty and distressed. As someone who. I, I don't like that. I don't like t shirts that come distressed. Okay. Or I, I, you got to earn it. As the king of distressed sneakers, you're not into that trend. No, it just it just looks really cheesy to me. Johnny, someone who you've worked closely with, Sean Cliver, yeah. has a few dunks under his belt, like That's the right. Strange Loves and these. 
Talk about like his relationship with sneakers. He hooks you up a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. He gave me the dunks I wore in Jackass Forever, and I've known Sean forever. Like his shoes resell for yeah. a lot, right? Yeah, they're like super coveted, and this one I think especially is reselling for a bunch. But what oh, about the Strange Love? Yeah, the Strange Love, exactly. What do you think about like his designs? And were you around him when like he was big into sneakers? I love all his designs. Yeah. Uh, he's such a talented artist, and you know he also has the portion of his brain. He keeps everything organized okay. around us and kind of everything is filtered through Sean. Got it. All the ideas and, and he keeps everything Jeff and I organized. So you could see why like as a, he, he comes out as a good sneaker designer. Yeah, he, he's so talented. Yeah. He's so talented. I'm really psyched that his shoes do so well. I saw you in the ring a week ago. You're getting ready for the Royal Rumble. Yeah. You wore a pair of dunks. Are they maybe a little more functional than the Converse or what? Well, I knew where we were going was super cold. It was going to be snowing. And since I have no heel in my shoe, <laughs> right. I'm like, I got to wear the, the dunks. I got to wear the dunks. So that was a more of a functional type thing. As you're getting ready for the Rumble, are we going to see you in the Chucks or the dunks or it's going to be oh, a game? I'm going, I'm going for the Chucks in the Rumble. I okay. have a whole ensemble ready. I'm going to kick some serious ass in the rumble. People think it's a joke. It's no joke. I'm going to be slinging dudes into the fourth row. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Browse the shelves, see what new shoes you're going to get. Yes. Hey, man, how are you? Good, good. Yourself? Good. I want the uh, OG Jordans. Like, I never had a pair of those, and I always wanted a pair. Oh, Chicago's. Yeah. yeah. Those are sick. Those are Chicago, sick. bang, yeah. bang. Yeah, yeah. Let me grab those up for you. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, no problem. I never had a pair of Air Jordans, and now I'm about to. And it's a used section. I don't care. Who cares? Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, how are you? I see what you grabbed there. Oh, yeah. You did some damage today, man. Oh boy, did I. Yes, sir. Total is 2737 with 50 cents. What I do? Break something? No, you didn't. You got you caught something go. real big, man. Yes. Yeah, these so rare, man. We have to put these in the replacement box. It's hard to find these, man. Well, thank Hate you. Hate to see these leave, man. Well, they are appreciated. Appreciate you. See All you right. in the next one. Take care. Thanks. So the legend Johnny Knoxville came through, got his first pair of Jordans, wearing yes. them out. I'm really psyched on these. They I'm, look great. I'm being honest, like I didn't know a new pair of shoes was gonna make me this happy. See that? Make sure everyone goes and sees Jackass forever. That's right. All right. <laughs> Ooh, look how quick I am. These new shoes. <laughs>